you are know, waiting for your friend. Uh, okay, this morning I will yeah, a little bit lecture you about introduction to patient. Um, pretty sure that you will meet any course the in fashion later on with Miss Ratna and Miss Almira and also another Miss and Mrs. and also Sir on your class in the future uh, semester. But now let me introduce you a little bit about fashion. Since fashion is so, so, especially nowadays, so uh, general and also in every lifestyle. So this introduction is uh, I made in the approach of history. And also, Brian, and I want to discuss with you about what is fashion according to your understanding, and also uh, what is fashion meaning uh, for you. Yeah. First of all, let me introduce uh, myself. Yeah, my name is Nikki. Uh, I will be your lecturer on the second uh, semester, second year. Yeah? Usually on the third semester with Fashion Marketing 1 and Fashion Marketing 2. Previously, before I became lecturer, I worked since 2001 in the retail beauty, lifestyle, and fashion. First, I joined with the Body Shop Group as a marketing uh, communications. Executive, and then uh, also I did some fashion photo shoot in the another group of the Body Shop Indonesia, like PS and M2. On 2005, I joined with the uh, Time International uh, as a brand manager for healthy image watch and jewelry like Black Warrior, and then Dior, Fendi, and also uh, Zenith and another independent brand like Brightling and also responsible for in time, yeah, in time uh, boutique and also time care. Yeah. And after that I also joined this before FX become FX, it used to be like Sudirman Place. Sudirman Place is owned by one group of company, yeah, very wide company, and also I responsible for marketing in important brands like Bruno Mali, Corneliani, and then, yeah, several brands from uh, Italy and also London, yeah. And then after that, I joined to L'Occitan uh, and Provence, yeah, uh, as a marketing manager and also manager, and then after that, I became uh, I also joined with helping Eduardo Tabara yeah, uh, with his level, part one, Eduardo Tabara in, in Pacific Place. He opened the boutique at Pacific Place. And after that, I also joined with the Tatler Indonesia magazine, with also Millennial Beijing magazine, as the head of PR and uh, marketing. And uh, while I work at Tatler, I also uh, lectured in Lhasa College International Jakarta for fashion business. And then I joined with uh, Yunus Matambria School of Design since 2012 and become faculty member at 2014. Okay, that's introduction from me. Yeah, let's discuss for a while. I want to know what is fashion, but I don't want you to quote or some definition from other designer or anything, but I want the things that something came up from your mind. Yeah? Who's going to start it? What is fashion according to you? And please open up your video, yeah, everybody. So I can see your face. Yes, that's good. Okay. 
just got started. What is fashion according to you? Yeah, just only the things that you think right now and what have in your mind. Malu malu ya. <laughs> okay, let me Reisha. What is fashion? Can you hear me? Yes, I can okay. hear. You. Um, for me, I think fashion is a form of art. It expresses ourselves in a way that um, very transparent because other people can see it clearly from our fashion. So, okay. okay. Thank you. Uh, so fashion is about expression, yeah? Okay. We need to find What is fashion we need? Uh, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Um, fashion is uh, a form of art where we can express ourselves through clothing. So fashion is a form of art, yeah? Although the late yeah. Karl Lagerfeld is refused that fashion is art, but I agree with you. Fashion is art. Thank you, Bibi. Thank you, Risha. And Laura Rishona. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Yeah. So, again, like, I'm a bit repeating what others have said, but fashion is a way to express ourselves. Uh, can you uh, rise up the volume? Yeah, can I? Can you? Uh, Tell me once again, yeah, because your voice is not clear enough. The volume, can you turn off the volume? Yeah. Okay, what is fashion, Laura? It's already, it's already nothing more volume. Okay, Laura. Uh, thank you, Laura. Emily, Emily Wong. What is fashion, Emily? Um, fashion is a form of art as clothing to express yourself. Okay. Thank you, Emily. Okay, one more. Anya, what is fashion, Anya? Uh, fashion is a form of clothing that we can express ourselves with. Express, yeah. Two more, and then I will continue to this lecture session. Uh, okay, David, what is fashion? Can you hear me? Yes. For me, fashion is a, a form of self-expression where we as an artist tell stories through garments. Tell stories through garments. Okay, that's good. Nasia. Thank you, David. Nasia, sorry, I can't hear you. Um, now, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Uh, I think fashion is a personal way for someone to express their creative side and their ideas to the general public. Okay, thank you, Nasia. Yeah. I'm pretty sure for all the definition of yours is the value and also I agree with. Yeah. So let's start. Fashion or model in Indonesia, yeah, in Bahasa Indonesia. It's also, hmm, I also a little bit interesting with this statement from Seneca. Seneca is Roman philosopher from uh, first century. Uh, that's stated like this, we live not according to the reason, but according to fish. I think this whole statement also suitable with the things that you already say, you know, express about yourself and also fashion could be like state of the history, yeah. Um, and each of the era could be described with fashion. Yeah? Especially nowadays you always uh, watching we always watching the movie from Netflix or uh, Disney, HBO and TV cable and so on from internet. That we could see the time of era of the movie where the time is set up yeah, with the fashion. Yeah? 
Uh, in, in bahasa Indonesia ya mode is like ragam, cara bentuk yang terbaru pada suatu waktu tertentu, tentang pakaian, potongan rambut, corak hiasan, dan sebagainya. Uh, based on Merriam-Webster Dictionary, the prevailing style in the dress during particular time, the fashion, let's say now on display, this that's the example, a garment is such a style, always wears the latest fashion. Okay, and then the things that I will describe yeah, uh, now is, I will think about time. Time, time is about the timeline. So there are 10 timelines that I will describe to you. Yeah, and also we could uh, always discuss, and if you have something in mind, yeah, you can also uh, directly raise your hands, so or also yeah, you can also talk directly. Yeah? And also another understanding of fashion is prevailing custom usage or style like the re fashion have changed in recent years. Okay, we already did this, it is by your own. Yeah. Mostly you said that uh, fashion is expression. It's about express yourself. Um, before that, yeah. Since our country has uh, rich in culture, and also culture is also a background of vision, yeah, the way we dress and also the way we live is also about uh, vision. So I will start it with Indonesia. Uh, okay, I will ask you one by one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that each one of you is came from one tribe or ethnicity from Indonesia. Yeah? I will ask starting from Nadia. Nadia, uh, where did you come from? Let's say like yes. uh, suku apa, let's say from Jawa or Chinese or, okay, where did you come from? Aceh Padang, uh, I, I mean uh, Aceh Melayu. Padang Aceh Melayu, okay, that's interesting, yeah. Thank you, Nadia. I mean, uh, uh, Aceh Padang aja sih. Oh. I mean, uh, Aceh Melayu, ya. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Nadia. Yosel Febe Silalaki. Of course, from Batak, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Where are you come from? I, I want to know. Your parents mm -hmm. is from Batak or? Yes, I'm from Sumatra, uh, Batak, Batak. Okay. Yeah, your uh, marga is the same with my grandma, eh? Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you, Yosef. How about you, Didi? Yeah. Where do you come from? Yeah. Uh, your child, yeah. Me? Yes. Oh, I'm from uh, Padang and Jawa. Padang and Jawa. Thank you, Didi. Rasya, how about you? I'm from Jawa. Yeah. I can hear you. Yeah, can you louder? Um, Java and Sunda. Cirebon. Java and Sunda. Okay, thank you, Rasya. Uh, uh, and 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 they please remain. Who's this? Dua empat empat nol delapan delapan dua ASMMMB ya Rizky Laura is the king from Laura first. Hello, can you hear me, sir? Oh yeah. Okay. Laura. Hmm. My mother is a native Makassar and mother that is Chinese Makassar. Uh, can you open up your camera and rename your yourself, please? Uh. Actually, I'm using my laptop and using my phone too because my microphone is not work, sir. Oh, uh -huh. so you cannot rename it? Yeah. yeah. Also, the camera is needed work. Okay, Bella. Um, I'm Sundanese. Sundanese. Okay, thank you, Bella. Laura Rishona. I'm a mixture of Java and Dayak. Java and Dayak. 
Okay, thank you, Laura. And then, who else? Duffy, 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 yeah, yeah. Uh, my ethnicity background is Chinese. Okay, thank you. Kalista? Kalista, are you there? Yes, sir. Hello. Yeah. Oh, uh, you are the senior, yeah? Yes. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Sorry. I want to know also. Oh, uh, my family background is also Chinese. Thank you, Kalista. Yes, Masha. sure. Uh, I'm Japanese. Okay, thank you, Risha. I'm Batak, sir. Uh, both of them from Batak? Uh, no, both of them. Okay. Then, your mom is? Uh, my mom is Batak, uh, Medan, and my Oh, my mom is Batak Medan and Mandailing, and my dad is Batak Medan. Okay, thank you, Risha. Putri. Putri. Yes. Yes. Where do you come from? Uh, let's say your ethnicity. Uh, my dad. My dad is uh, from. Java and my mom is Chinese. Okay, thank you, Putri. Emily? Um, my mom is Manado Arabic and my dad is Chinese. Manado Arabic? Wow, I, I just knew that. Okay, thank you, Emily. Stephanie? Stephanie Vijaya, yeah? Uh, come on. Uh, I'm from, I am Chinese, sir. Okay, thank you, Stephanie. Your mom also, yeah? your mom and dad. Yes. Okay, thank you, Stephanie. Hi, Janet. My mom is from Palembang, and my dad is Japanese Chinese. Okay, thank you, Anya. Shinbi, yeah, Shinbi. Yes, sir. Yeah. Both of my parents are Korean. Korean? Okay, thank yeah. you. Welcome to Indonesia. But you still here, or let's say uh, you are directly came from Korea, or? Sorry, sir? Yeah, you you directly from Korea, or let's say since you were, uh, since you were born, you were still in Jakarta, or? Oh, it's been 17 years that I lived 17 in years in, in here, okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Sydney. Thank you. Next, Rula. I'm um, Betawi Arab, I think. Betawi Arab. <laughs> I'm <Okay>. Arabic. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yes, that's uh, Jakarta came from here. Betawi yeah. Arab. Okay. Marcia, Alicia. Thank you. Um, my, my dad is from Maluku and Bali, and my mom is from Java. Javanese. My mom is a Javanese. Okay, thank you, Marcia. Next yes. is, uh, I, I don't know your name yet. Ah, yes, I have, I have the three, two, four, 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 five, three, two. Remain, yeah. If you can remain, please remain right now. Okay, Vicky, yeah. Vicky, Vanessa. Sir? Yes. Oh, Michelle, yeah, Michelle, please. Uh, yeah. Where do you come from, Michelle? Sorry, I can't hear you. Yeah. Your voice is not clear, Michelle. <laughs> Michelle, your voice, is not, I cannot hear your voice. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thank you, Michelle. And then Vicky Vanessa. 
Chinese, sir. Speaking, yeah. Speaking, can you open up your video, please? Yeah. What's up, pieces? Chinese, sir. Okay, thank you, Vicky. And then, Reina Bela, Hello. Also, Reina, please open up your camera. Sorry, what? Reina Bela. Can you hear me? Yes. Uh, I can mom... see your face. My mom is from Medan, and my dad is from Jawa. Okay. Everybody already said their ethnicity, yeah? Why I ask you one by one? Because I want you to understand that also fashion, yeah, the things that we learn from uh, the history of fashion mostly is by the Western side, but I want you also be proud and also learn from your own uh, ethnicity. Yeah, because we have such a rich and also uh, various, and I think our country is the most richest textile and traditional fabrics of Indonesia. You mean our country has the richest yes. culture? Yes, it is. Yeah. Okay. And also, Indonesia has also influence. And if you learn history, our country has so many. Uh, before Indonesia, we have such as like uh, two of the biggest kingdom, like Sriwijaya, and also Majapahit. Yeah, you can see like this. Yeah, this is the flag. Yeah. And also the influence. Yeah, like Sriwijaya, like uh, from 680 until 1300, they also. Every country also has a flag as a symbol or identity. And Majapahit, yeah. Majapahit also the also the reason why we have a flag red and white. Yeah. And also at the same time, British East India, yeah. And also uh, United States of America, Malaysia, they have such as like, yeah, mostly alike. Could be influenced by Sriwijaya or Majapahit. Uh, wastra means uh, fabric. Yeah? Wastra is Indonesian language, Bahasa Indonesia. Yeah? So this is like from Sabang to Merauke. Yeah. See like Aceh, Songket to Jokerbong, and then Ulos yeah? from Batak, and then from Badan, Songket Minangkabau, yeah? Riau. Songkhet, yeah, mostly in here because of the uh, influence of Sriwijaya by the time. So it's Songkhet, yeah, it's the main in Sumatra, but mostly all over Indonesia has also Songkhet. Yeah. And Tapis, yeah, Batik, Telon, Batik Megalendung, Cirebon, Parang, Urik, yeah. and then also Tenun Dek, yeah. Alone, yeah, mostly in Nusa Tenggara, yeah, Flores, Timor, the Sumba is the Nordia yeah, Ikat, and also Kalimantan. Yeah, there's so many kind of it's just like uh, the proof that our country is so rich in fabric, and this fabric could be a uh, influence also could be a state in expression. Yeah, each one of our country and uh, area has a different way uh, to make and also to have a style yeah, in uh, Wastra. Yeah. Uh, mostly in Indonesia, there are three kinds of uh, fabric. Yeah, the technique like Songkhet, Batik, and Lut. Later on, on the class with Miss Almira, you will learn about how to make uh, or you will Getting no more the knowledge about songkhet, batik, tenun. Yeah. I think in every these three kinds has a different way to make it, and also a uh, different kind of expression. Yeah. Uh, this one is songkhet. 
or in English we could call it like sort of like brocade. This one, like usually uh, on the Sriwijaya era, the the fabric is also from gold. Yeah, the the thread is from gold. Yeah. The real gold or silver. Sometimes for the king, they put like diamonds in here. And this is batik. I took the royalty batik is barang. Yeah. Used to be like only king or uh, the royalty could wear this form of uh, parang and batik parang. Jogja Solo, yeah, mostly from Java. And this one is tenun. Yeah. If you know the story about the limited edition of rupiah, yeah, 75,000, you can find this uh, public tenun. Yeah. This is double ikat. Double ikat from Bali, from Tenganan. They are one of the old, or we could call it Bali again. Yeah. So this is the original Bali, and also influence from yeah, sometimes from India. Yeah, this like sort of like swastika. And in the world, only the area that has double ikat. Here, one is Indonesia. Yeah, Bali tenun. Green Singh in Bali. The second one is in Gujarat, India. And the third one is Japan. Yeah. So we we could say that we proud that we have double Ika. Okay. Before that, uh, we will start for the next time. Okay. Why you need to, uh, I want you to also appreciate your own uh, culture now on, yeah. Maybe starting like, let's say, like, ask your mom and dad. Uh, minimum, yeah, let's say, like, you knew, let's say, from Bata, from Padang, from Aceh, you will understand about the history about that. Or Chinese, the Chinese is so rich because also in our country, especially in uh, coastal area, yeah, this is here, we could call it, yeah. They have such as like influence from Chinese. We call it like Pranakan yeah? or Baba. That's an influence culture from Chinese. So, uh, you, know, you have one traditional fabric to understand about the history and also you learn it. Yeah? Maybe someday on your thesis, you will also take that kind of uh, traditional clothes. And I also had my, uh, my Korean uh, friend, Cindy. I think they also in Korea, sort of like Songket, yeah, but I forgot the name. Uh, also has a traditional, yeah. Also Korea, also Korean also has a culture, yeah, good culture, great culture. So yeah, from now on, please understand where you come from and then be proud of it and then learning to understand. Maybe in the future, we can. It as a uh, inspiration. Yeah. Okay. Any questions? Any question from you, sir? Um, yes. Sir, I have meant that um, my father is Achenese, while my mom is Arab Malay. Yeah. Yeah, you know, since century ago, uh, we have relations with, let's say, like from Arab, yeah? from Arab, from China, from yeah. Thailand. That's why, uh, also, especially in Aceh, yeah, Aceh is really close with Arab. That's why in Indonesia we call it like Serambi Mekah. Yeah? And yes. it used to be, yeah, in the history, you can read it, Nadia. Uh, Aceh wants to be like Pasar. Pasar is like uh, what we call it, negara bagian. So like a country uh, in Ottoman. Yeah, Ottoman is such as like a big uh, kingdom in the world on that day. So Aceh used to be like asked to be one of the Ottoman uh, territory. Yeah. Sir, so, okay. um, do you know Pranakan, Chinese and Arab Pranakan? 
Yes, yeah, sort of like uh, Pranakan, which is like a pottery station. Yeah, idea. Let's say like two culture uh, unit, uh, unite, become one, and then they uh, they also they they made such as like a new culture, but you know, uh, influenced by those two kind of culture that they unite with. Let's say like Chitrapod, Batik Megamendu. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that mostly all of you understand more in yoga, but the Megan Doom is also Pranakan. Why? Because uh, it influenced by China. Mm. Any other questions? Mister? Yes. Do you, do you know about, do we know about Fatmawati? Fatmawati, yes. When she was young, she wore a kebaya. Oh, kebaya Fatmawati. Yes. What do you mean about that? Do you know kebaya? Uh, everybody loves kebaya. Oh, yes. Kebaya is a national, uh, what do you call it, traditional uh, identity, also one of the identity. Uh, for Indonesian women, yeah. kebaya is mostly where by came from like Java, Sunda, and also mostly in the area of Indonesia, they know kebaya. Yeah. Kebaya is uh, yeah, different each. Let's say mostly in Sumatra, yeah. they have such as like uh, kebaya also kebaya. In Melayu also kebaya, baju kurung. Yeah. It's like like yeah, modification between kebaya and also Melayu traditional uh, group, okay. and also in Batak, yeah? in Jawa, Sunda, I think also in Maluku, and also in Chinese, yeah, back again with Pranakan, Kebaya Nching is one of the also alteration that Pranakan do. Yeah? Okay, any other questions? Yeah, let's go to the timeline. Yeah. Um, yeah, mostly uh, this is like only the short thing because the ten timeline is not enough for us today to, uh, to be able to discuss. Yeah, but I will try. Yeah, the, the ancient world prehistory is in six hundred CF. Yeah, mostly fashion or clothing on that day is from a skin of animal yeah? to avoid like yeah, again we back and understand about the function of vision yeah? to avoid from the climate from the cold yeah? and also from the insect so they made it by themselves um, clothes like this they're usually from animal skin because at the time they also uh, hunting yeah? hunt animal uh, for them to live, yeah, to for their uh, everyday life, or could be like yeah, we learned from Egypt, one of the oldest uh, culture in the world. So this is the clothes we yeah, on that day, leopard. And also in we could learn from Orient, East, Asia from China, from Japan, Korea, from us, Indonesia, yeah. So we also have a patient like this, again, yeah. Uh, as our discussion that, uh, previously, that patient also stated about the position, about expression. Like this also in, used to be in China, the way they dress uh, stated the profession, either they are from royalty, they are army, or they are just like uh, artists. Yeah. Uh, the second one for the timeline of fashion, yeah, is uh, medieval romance oh, and Chinese yeah. from uh, year of six hundred to one thousand uh, four four nine. Uh, I took this picture. Maybe you can be familiar with. Is anyone who say this 
uh, came from what kind of movies it is? Starring by the Timothy. king, the king. Yes, the Timothy king. Timothy Chalamet. Chalamet and Robert Pattinson. Robert. Yeah. Yes, you're right, my dear. Yeah. Mister, so, in the future, uh, fashion will be more avant-garde, right? And yeah, fashion could be influenced by many kind of things, my dear. Let's say fashion is like uh, iconoclastic. What I mean about iconoclast is it could be uh, back and forth, yeah, back and forth with the new things. But again, the history could influence fashion, yeah. So this is like the example of the era, yeah. Yes, Nadia. So history cannot repeat itself, right? Yes, but still cannot be fit, but with the new things. Yeah, let's say, uh, because, you know, uh, we cannot uh, translate or also uh, wear the things that on that day wear. That's like, because it should be uh, suitable with our era. Okay, can you imagine if we wear like uh, steel, like this, like Robert Pattinson wear? I think it will be hard for us, yeah? But yeah. let's say maybe only the head pieces, only the, let's say, the details of the clothes could uh, be translated into trend nowadays. So usually on that day, on the medieval romance and trade, yeah, the clothes is like this. Yeah? You can see from the movie of The King. Yeah? Okay, that's number two. The next one is... Yeah, this is still medieval with the hat like this. Yeah, I'm pretty sure whenever you watch the movie, yeah, like Robin Hood or something, yeah, you can see the fashion is like that. Okay, the third timeline is Renaissance splendor from the year 1450 until 1006 to 4. And on that day, the fashion icon is Queen Elizabeth I, yeah? or we could call it the Virgin Queen, since the Queen uh, uh, did not marry. Yeah? So she's the one that became fashion icon. So in the center is the, one of the uh, dress of Elizabeth, uh, Elizabeth Queen, yeah? number one, Elizabeth I. So this is the Renaissance. Yeah? And the characteristic of that, that era is with the fluffy uh, color. Number four is Baroque and Rococo era in 1006-25 until 1007-89. So this is the Baroque Rococo style. Dolce and Gabbana yeah, was a suit, uh, always uh, inspired by this era, Baroque and Rococo, with the rich uh, details yeah, and also with uh, embroidery. Yeah. Uh, the fifth timeline is revolution to tranquility from 1,700 to 1,900. After uh, French Revolution, yeah, so this one is uh, the era with the fine details. Yeah. And also like this, it's like a kimono or let's say like a long coat with the embroidery details. Uh, the sixth era is La Belle Epoque or the Jazz Age in 1901 to 1,009 to 8, or we could call it like uh, Rolling Twenties, yeah, in here, and also the jazz, yeah, the jazz is, the jazz size like this. If you watch like the Great Gatsby, you will understand about the, yeah, this era, La Belle. Sir, this one is Downton Abbey, sir. Sorry? Uh, this one is the ca this ones are photos of characters of 
Down to A, B. Uh, no, this is from uh, 20s. Yeah, 20s is like this. 20s in the just speech is like this because uh, on that day, like, uh, because the economy in the world is getting better, so there are so many new rich people, so they really love yeah, to have a look like this. Yeah. So the example of this era is the movie of the Great Gatsby. Yeah. And the seventh I is, yes? I hope our economy will may be much better than ever before. Yes, amen to that. Yeah. So we could also have an interesting question there yeah, in the future. <laughs> yes, I also have the same hope with you. Okay, the seventh timeline is glamour to utility from 1929 to 1946. Uh, this one is the kid of Madame Grey. Yeah? Madame Grace is one of the fashion icons on that day with library and also with the imperial, yeah, imperial style like this. Mm -hmm. Lam is also influenced with uh, this era. Yeah, this is the era of the glamour to utility. And the eighth era is optimism and youth, 1947 to 1963. It's the birth of the new look. This is the new look by Christian Gilor. Also the era that as a protest, as a women. Yeah. On that day, women is like the second class because they didn't allow to work together with men. But with this optimism and youth era, women want to say to themselves that they are as strong as women, as men. Yeah. That's why they clothe like this. It's not like a suit, but with the form of a curve, a women's body curve. Yeah. With the gloves, with the hat. Yeah. And on youth, there yeah, also this gems team, the patient icon that also was born in that era. Yeah. With the red bomber jacket and denim, yeah, at the time as denim is really uh, the top of mind of the uh, Customer. Later on, you will learn in, in my class about the, you know, the patient leadership theory. We go up, we go down. How the patient influence each other in the society and how patient accepted by society. The ninth uh, era is swinging sixties to glam rock, nineteen sixty five to nineteen seventy nine. Yeah. So this is the sixties. Uh, the fashion icon is Twiggy. Yeah. Twiggy is the model that against normal model on that day because Twiggy is so skinny. Yeah. But she became she became a fashion icon and also flower generation. You know, like bootleg uh, like this. Yeah. And the last one is the designers decay from 1980 uh, until onwards. So this era is about fashion design, about the name. Yeah, let's say like this one is uh, Vivian Westwood. Also, um, she took a punk, a yeah, punk rock into her collection. Yeah. Or, uh, Jean Paul Gaultier, yeah. mm -hmm. JPG is also uh, in fashion world. Uh, yeah. He got a name like Bad Boys from fashion. Jean Paul Gaultier last so year uh, uh, resigned yeah, from, let's say, like retired from fashion. And Paul Gaultier. Yeah. So uh, he created like this, yeah, like from uh, inspired by Marin. Yeah. Paul Gaultier. Slide also like uh, her, uh, his work is really amazing yeah, in, uh, and also he had like a line in couture and also a design uh, high end and also for casual yeah. and we cannot also forget about Giorgio Armani uh, his influence in fashion also is such a big 
uh, influence, yeah. And from the suit and the small lady, because the cutting, yeah, Italian is really famous of the cutting, yeah. So the uh, Giorgio Armani has also uh, several brands like Emporio Armani, AX, yeah, Armani Exchange. Yeah. And from Japan, also we have uh, fashion designer that influence the world, like Rei, Rei Kawakubo. Yeah. Rei Kawakubo is uh, the former, the ex wife of uh, Yoji Yamamoto. Yeah? So uh, I think you're familiar with this, right? This is from the Garçons uh, play, also designed by Rei Kawakubo. Yeah? And Calvin Klein also, yeah. Uh, his influence in fashion is also uh, really strong. That made fashion into Alison and Facebook. Okay. okay. And Alexander McQueen, yeah. He's the futuristic uh, culturist. And Iris Van Herpen, yeah. where by Lady Gaga. McQueen. McQueen. Yeah, this is Iris Van Herpen, also uh, famous about the futuristic style of hers. Uh, this is the fashion brand timeline. Yeah. That's Lady Gaga. Yes, Lady Gaga wearing uh, Iris Van Herpen collection yeah, in here. Yes, in, from Louis Vuitton, but this is not most all brand out of the world, but just only several brands that was born on the timeline. Since 1850s, Louis Vuitton, followed by Burberry, and from uh, 1900 is Abercrombie and Fitch, and then in 19, uh, 15, uh, 18, Chanel, and also Prada. Gucci, Lacoste, Christian Dior, Yves Saint Laurent, Ralph Lauren, CK, Calvin Klein, Giorgio Armani, Versace, Guess, DKNY, and Anna Sui. I don't know. From 2000 until now, maybe your name, yeah, will be appear on the fashion brand title. Mister? Yes. What's fashion trend in the future? In the future, I, I, I don't know, because I'm not living in the future. <laughs> but we could predict, uh, let's say, like, in the future, especially... In the future, uh, fashion trends, uh, maybe avant-garde fashion style, OT, OT led, I mean, uh, avant-garde, like Aris um, Van Herpen. Uh, I think nowadays, fashion cannot be yeah, unpredictable for nowadays, but... Since we are on a pandemic situation, I believe that fashion is influenced by something that could be like, sort of like casual. Yeah. What? Uh, if, you see, if you see the late uh, Etro, yeah? Etro, uh, Etro design for one of the Taylor Hill, yeah? Taylor Hill uh, wearing Etro at a um, fashion festival in Italy. The cloth is sort of like a cloth, but in many, let's say, uh, uh, if I could uh, search from internet. Yeah. So this is like the things that could happen on the future. That fashion will be uh, according to- Avant-garde. Uh, not avant-garde, not only avant-garde, but maybe like this one, let's say like, yeah. And nowadays, um, sometimes one fashion designer, they don't follow the trend, but they create trend. Mister, uh, 2000s fashion is so bad for me. I like avant-garde fashion. <laughs> what is avant-garde? Avant-garde, futuristic, I'm on, in the future, fashion trends may be utilitarian chic and avant-garde and cyberpunk chic. Maybe, 
maybe it could be happen. Yeah? You mean it may be happen, right? It may be happening. Maybe, yeah. But we're not sure, sure yeah, because you know, uh, fashion is always changing. Yeah. Okay. Really yes. Really do you know, uh, uh, okay. sir? Do you know ghost in the shell? Oh my gosh! Okay, wait here. Yeah. Uh, this is Taylor Hill. Yeah. You know, this is like a rope, right? Taylor uh, Hill wear this to the uh, red carpet of seventy-seven tennis film festival. Yeah. So this is created by Pietro from Italy. If you see, this is like a bathroom, but it changed into like glamour thing yeah, with the, sort of the, you know, it's glamour, but actually if you see it carefully, this is like a bathroom, yeah? So that's the proof that nowadays, fashion is influenced by the situation, uh, economically, politically, culture-wise, yeah? Yeah, maybe someday, like Nadia said, uh, we'll be upon that. But I, I'm not sure it's only one style because fashion is yeah, much, much bigger than that. Yeah, like in music, everything. Ito. Sir, do you, do you know about Ghost in the Shell? Sir, do you know about Ghost in the Shell? Ghost in the Shell. <laughs> what do you mean, Ghost the in the movie? Shell? The movie, the movie which is part uh, by Scarlett Johansson. Yes, that's also interesting. The fashion is the future, right? It seems like yeah. uh, the style like that is like uh, it is like Airman and then Pierre Cardin and also uh, well, Cardin. Uh, Hussein Shalayan, yeah, that's the name of fashion designer that also has uh, inspiration from the futuristic. I like Hussein Shalayan, sir. Yeah. Hussein Shalayan. It's, uh, yeah, it's really interesting, yeah. Uh, his collection is always out of the box. Any other questions? You know Westworld, sir? Westworld? Westworld? Oh. Yeah, Westworld, the TV show. Yeah, yeah. I knew that the movie is also in okay. What what do you think? What kind of fashion that influenced that mo movie idea? Westworld can uh, Western fashion, futuristic fashion. Yeah. Uh, Westworld is the Westworld TV show one, right? In the season one, uh, people used Western fashion style. In the season two, they used modern fashion style. In the season three, they use futuristic fashion style. Yeah. On that day, because they want to show that they live in fast forward time, yeah. Yes, uh, from like cowboy style and in the future, yeah. It's really interesting. That's why um, one of the, you know, like uh, profession that you can take yeah, is also as a costume director in the movie. It's really well respected in the movie. Why? As I said before, because the movie will tell the story, not just only uh, the story itself, but also the things that you see, motion features, yeah? like the clothes that they wear. Yeah? So if, if you want to be like costume director in the fashion, yeah, I think it's also interesting. Any questions? Mister, um, do you know Ghost in the Shell anime one? Yeah. Yes. Can, uh, the girl uh, says futuristic dress, right? Yeah. And then? Her style is called utilitarian chic, right? Yeah. It's like futuristic because uh, she lives in the year of, yeah, in the future. So that's why 
Now it must be uh, also relate yeah, relate with the time where uh, she lived. Yeah. Ah. Okay. This is like uh, patient expression. This like only uh, several things. Uh, so the things of the profession of the job that you can uh, hold in the future, like patient design. As the couture, yeah. uh, there's a differentiation between couture and uh, ready to wear. Later on, you will learn about that. Yeah. The couture is um, okay. Before that, anyone knows about couture or adibusana in Indonesia? Yeah, what is couture? Um, couture is uh, like a type of style that you cannot really wear in everyday mm. life, I think, yeah. Okay, yes, I agree with you. Uh, Larasati, yeah. Larasati Agatra, yeah. What is couture? Thank you, David. I'm sorry, sir. Yeah, what is couture? Good couture. Or in Indonesia, what we call it, Adi Busan. What is good couture? Uh, I'll give the first place, Larasati. What is couture according to you? Or, Siapa yang bisa? Uh, Cindy, Cindy, what is couture? Couture means uh, sewing. It's like an exclusive design. It's like custom. Yeah, so for us, yeah, thank you, Cindy. So for couture, you need to make only for like an art invasion because you directly make it for one person and also you do by hands. Yeah, everything must be by hand. So this is like the highest capability of patient designer is become couturier. Yeah. Okay, so if you want, because the couturier is nowadays is like, uh, I think, limited. Yeah. In Paris also, there's such as like a, a, a profession yeah, to do this, like couturier, what we call it couturier. Okay, and, and become artistic director, let's say like um, Nicola Gaskill for Little Tom, and also uh, Hedy Sliman for Lobebe, yeah. Head of design, also on the same yeah, graphic director in one uh, project, and also pattern maker, illustrator, or you could be like Monsieur Christian Dior yeah, as an entrepreneur. At the same time, also the patient design. For those who took uh, patient management, you could be like tech owner, like Hunter Klein or Vera Wang. Or let's say like in Indonesia, like Dian, yeah, uh, Sebastian Gunawan, yeah. or could be like public relations or communication manager, or 
brand manager, the one who responsible for the brand for its development, could be a buyer, could be a merchandiser, boutique manager, or you could be like entrepreneur. Yeah. Okay. Now we go to question and answer. Sir, I want to ask. Yeah, sure. Question. Uh, for brand owners, so uh, it's like you have the you own the name of the brand and then you hire a designer again. Yeah, there used to be like that's why in the timeline, can you see, uh, Marcia, that the nowadays it's like fashion designer. Yeah? It used to be like Christian Dior, the owner of the brand, also the designer. Yeah? Used to be back to the history. That also happened like to Coco Chanel and Gabriel Chanel is the one who owned the company but also the graphic director. And who else there? Yves Saint Laurent. And then uh, Gucci. Gucci is came from the name, Gucci or Gucci. But there's a tragic about the history of the family. Until now, the original family didn't want to take care of the brand, so they sold it to the, uh, you know, the entrepreneur. Uh, what's the name? It's, uh, Henry Pinot. Yeah, Henry Pinot is uh, oh. the owner of the brand. And also like Donna Karan, I think that also the owner now is there, but like Farah Wang is still the owner of the brand, yeah. Alexander McQueen also already been sold to the Gucci group, yeah. So only the shareholder, uh, yeah. Because the late Alexander McQueen also has the artistic director, yeah, the Sarah Burton. Uh, yeah. Yeah, sometimes like, you know, like uh, to make it nowadays because like patient is always changing, yeah? Patient is always changing and also um, it should be like uh, based on the, you know, like uh, into the kakinian video, yeah? If you're like, which is like that into the something that happened right now, happening right now. That's why like the lady called Adam is really genius, why? Because uh, he always took the models as a brand ambassador. He's the one that become the face, the icon of the era. Yeah. Let's say like um, Kaya Gerber, and then previously uh, he also uh, really what we call it, the daughter of Johnny Depp, yeah? uh, I don't know the name yet, I forgot, and also like uh, Kirsten Stewart, Kirsten Stewart, always the things, and also, I think Carla Griffith also uh, has a genius mind, and also uh, thinking with this no box in patient. Let's say like, how could he ask Pharrell Williams, yeah? Pharrell Williams, as a co-designer. And if you knew that the collection of Carol uh, with Chanel is become fit. Yeah? Okay, yeah, to show it, I will uh, hopefully the you know the internet is good, yeah, I will show you about uh, things that patient can do, yeah, there's no limit in patient, yeah, it's proved by Carla and Bell with uh, hello, Maria. Chanel X Zero, yeah. Wait, I will share the. I wish you have the, the video yeah, with you.
I don't know what happened. I cannot share with. I will show you about the things that uh, happened in Chanel yeah, back in the days. Uh, Chanel X. Uh, yeah, let me try in here. Okay, really interesting, yeah. So that's the things that can patient do, yeah. Like Chanel, like uh, that happened to you, yeah. I think you also can uh, see the that patient could be something that not just only clothing that we wear, but also like music, movie your life, because that I stated that fashion is life, fashion about ourselves. I agree with you that fashion is expression of yourself, yeah? So, um, I would like you to, let's say like seriously to take uh, the, your 
for it. Peter here, yeah. Since you took already uh, the major inspection, yeah. So I want you to get serious, yeah. Get serious, but at the same time, you must be fun. Yeah? You must be have a passion to do it. Okay, I will ask you one by one. Yeah, starting from Didi. What is your passion? What is my passion? Yes, what is your passion? I've been wanting to work in the fashion industry since I was a little kid because um, I've been like surrounded by people from the fashion industry since I was a little child. So I really wanted to have my own brand and fashion line in the future. Okay, that's great. Okay, if you think that you have uh, your own one brand, what is the name of it? What's your brand name? I'm sorry, what? What I'm is sorry. your brand name? The name brand of your name? brand. Yeah. What is it? I don't have like any yet, but maybe I'll use my name. Didi. <laughs> Didi name is your brand, yeah? You know, yeah. TV New York is also already been there, yeah? TV New York, okay. Thank you, TV, <laughs> for sharing your passion. How about you, Marcia, Alicia? What is your passion? Um, since I have so many ideas uh, and I always create like a mood board in my room, I also want to have my own brain and work with uh, designers or maybe like uh, exploring things. Maybe I could be a designer as well, but uh, we'll see in the future. And for the name brand, it's from it's from Malukans. Uh, so it's, it's kind of weird, but it has meaning. Uh, the name is Pung Style. Pung means punya. Style means gaya. Jadi if you say it in Indonesia, kayak punya gaya gitu sih <laughs> tapi it's kind of weird but yeah I've created I work with my dad uh, in that name because yeah okay that's that's good yeah punya gaya yeah. I think it's also yeah. in Indonesia punya gaya also interesting yeah yeah that's what, what everybody has to have yes that's great thank you Marcia yes thank you yes Misha Michelle, what's your passion? Michelle, I cannot hear your voice. I think you must unmute first, yeah? Okay, you type it, okay. Bella, Bella, Nazelina, what's your passion, Bella? Um, same like the others, I want to have my own brand and I want to use the local garments and work with local designers and mix it with a modern twist. But for the name, I don't know yet. Yeah, that's great, yeah, you know, because like, I, uh, within this pandemic, I joined also the webinar and on that webinar, there's a batik from Majapahit, but it's really modern. Yeah? It's become like kimono nowadays. Yeah? I think, yeah, Bella, they are, like I said before, our country is so rich with traditional fabric and also, uh, you know, it's the things that you saw from uh, my slides yeah, presentation. From Sabang to Merauke, there's a different kind of tradition, uh, traditional clothes. Thank you, Bella. And Larasati, yeah, I got that. What is your passion, Larasati? Laras. Hello? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, Laras. 
mentioned is that I want to work in a mission mission with a man. So, money is a good dream. Um, especially, I'm a futuristic fashion because since I was a kid, I really love to make a fashion picture that were my fantasy. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Laras. Anya. What's your question, Anya? Uh, unmute first, Anya. You forgot to unmute. Okay, so can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you. Uh, for me, I want to make my own brand. And uh, before that, I want to work with some designers first and then make my own brand. Okay. Thank you. Great. Good luck with that. Yosela, what's your passion, Yosela? Um, uh, maybe... Same like others, <laughs> making my own brand. Okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Yosela. That's great. Nasha, <laughs> what's your question? I uh, hopefully uh, I can make my own brand. Uh, I open, uh, I'm open to many possibilities in the fashion industry too, and I think I will I will represent my country too. Okay, thank you, Nasia. Stephanie. Uh, for me, every people have their own taste or have their own identity, right? So I wanna be a fashion designer that can. Uh, adjust their their taste, and I want to make a clothes that uh make them feel confidence while wear while wearing it. Okay, good. That's nice. Thank you, Stephanie. Next, Delphi. Yes, I think uh, just like the others, ultimately I want to build my own brand, but I, I'm i always open to everything in the fashion industry. But in terms of my own brand, I don't know the name yet, but for sure I want to build a brand that is really inclusive to all shape, to all size, to all skin color and every race, because I think in the fashion industry itself, sometimes you have to look a certain way and that's just not right with me. Yeah. Okay. Great, Delphine, thank you. Yeah. In fact, the world, sometimes, yeah, you need to be more niche or let's say focused or uh, wider, broader. Yeah. So let's say, like Delphine said, that you want to all races, I think it's the general. Yeah, the most general. Let's say, uh, if, you, if you see like H&M um, and also Zara, is the general, then you'll be successful. But let's say like in limited things, let's say like the harder to get the successful brand it could be, yeah? especially like high-end luxury like Hermes, like Rolex, it's really hard to get. Like Chanel, yeah? some collection of Chanel, the things that I uh, show you in LXRL, I think that's not, the product has only been sold out since the only one or two days. Yeah? It's really amazing. Thank you, Delphine. And then, uh, Cindy, what's your passion, Cindy? Uh, I have passion in art, uh, traveling, and learning new things. And also, I want to be a fashion event coordinator or a fashion designer in the future. Okay, that's really good. Art, traveling is the things that need it as a fashion designer, yeah? as a fashion management, as fashion entrepreneur. Thank you, Cindy. Thank Laura, you, sir. Yeah, Laura Rishona. What's your passion, Laura? Uh, sir, can I enter in the chat box? Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Laura. Reisha, what's your passion? Um, instead of making my own brand, uh, I'm planning to be a fashion buyer 
and working with other designers? Okay, that's a good question by your, yeah? Question by uh, Question, uh, what, what is your major, design or management? Management, sir. Yeah, question by your, is responsible to uh, pick a collection that's suitable in Indonesia, for example, yeah? If you are work for, uh, let's say like foreign, uh, especially let's say like, if you are buyer for uh, Gucci, for example, yeah? You will be given in the budget, and then on that budget, you will uh, pick the collection that might be a uh, bestseller in Indonesia. Yeah? So you need to have such as like uh, good fashion business thing, and also uh, really smart and uh, sharp in fashion time, yeah? in the consumer behavior also. Okay, Great thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Bella, tadi udah ya, Bella? Belum? Udah. Oh, udah, Bella, ya. Oke, okay. thank you, Bella. Rula, what's your passion, Rula? Uh, I also wanted to make my own brand, but I want to focus on modesty because I wear hijab. So I want to start there. Yeah. Oke, okay. yeah, that's good also. You know, like Nike also uh, discover about the hijab, yeah, that's really comfortable and could be like as a sport. Uh, I think, uh, Rula, you need to make uh, innovation in uh, hijab, yeah, hijab and comfort, but at the same time is stylish. Yeah. Thank you, Rula. And Laura also said that your passion is art, yeah? Let me see in the chat, yeah. Yes, that also. Ah, that's nice, yeah. Laura and also uh, said that become illustrator. Yeah, this fashion there really needed, yeah. The Laura, the fashion illustrator, you know, like it's a series of art also. If you see like Louis Vuitton, yeah, Louis Vuitton is always has the book like a city guide tour yeah, and also full of the illustrator. And also, not to mention that fashion designer, yeah, you need to make a illustration your design, right? And also, Cindy, also you have a great uh, passion, and yeah? you want to be stylist as a Korean idol, yeah? Like, let's say, like, you know, the hit of the Korean idol, let's say, like, in one group, yeah, it's never been before, happened before, yeah, like Blackpink, yeah? Blackpink, uh, one of the members is endorsed by Chanel, but the other one by Dior. Yeah? It's really great. Yeah? It's not never been happened before. Yeah? Before, yeah? it's really too big, uh, too big brand sponsor one group Blackpink. Yeah? Okay, who else? Bella, Rula, Uda. Vicky, Vanessa, yeah? Vicky, what's your question, Vicky? Uh, I want to make, I, I want to create something that uh, makes other people happy. Okay. That's great, Vicky. Thank you. Number Emily Wong. What's your question, Emily? Um, I'm actually interested in styling also, uh, same as Michelle. Yeah. Regarding about the styling, yeah, you know nowadays, like in Indonesia especially, uh, this uh, profession could be like something that become a dream job someday. And nowadays, I think that only fashion stylists like Amy Liu, Andy Suranta, and then Karen Delano, yeah, who did the stylists. But now, you can also like cater the, another market. Yeah? Let's say like um, your friend. Yeah? Let's say like styling for uh, your friend in college. Yeah? You can also practice right now, I believe, yeah? And your mom, your dad, your family, yeah? I think styling is also the one that could be great profession, yeah? That's great, Emily, thank you. Lara, Sari, Uda, and then Marsha, Uda. Putri, yeah, Putri, yeah. What is your passion, Putri? Uh, I idolize 
Carl Lagerfeld so much. So I want to be like a creative director in high-end brand. Okay. And yeah, I also idolize Anna Winter. Uh, I also want to be like Anna Winter, like editor-in-chief in Folk. But I also want to create high-end brand from Indonesia. Like yes. from Indonesia. Okay, great, Putri. You have a clear passion. Yeah, that's really good. Especially, I'm supportive to become a high-end fashion designer for um, Indonesian textile. Yeah? There are so many collections of our country. Yeah? Good luck and great, Putri. Thank you. Michelle. Michelle, what is your passion? Michelle juga udah ya. Stephanie, yang belum siapa ya? Reina ya, Reina, uh, what is your passion, Reina? Uh, hello. Yes. My passion is to make any kinds of clothes for my own design and make a brand that anyone can wear. And same like Putri, I want to make a high-end brand from Indonesia. Okay, that's good, Reina. Who's not uh, saying passion? <laughs> Siapa belum? Everybody already stated your passion. Mister, um, yes. I want oh, to make Nadia, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, Nadia, what's your passion? Uh, yeah, avant garde. Because I'm a, I'm a tired of 2000s fashion. <laughs> so you become fashion designer of uh, with the style of avant garde. Yeah, and Uti didn't shake and uh, uh, off white, like you know the off white streetwear, you know. Okay. So I'm tired of 2000s fashion, you know, I'm tired of comeback of 2000s fashion, you know. Okay, you can make that with your own collection. Let's say, okay, create something new with you, then, uh, Nadia. Let's say something that not original, but at the same time is really new in fashion, okay? You can make that, yeah? Yeah, Mr. I create uh, dresses for everybody, either Muslims or Christians or Jewish or Hindus or Buddhists. Okay, fashion for everybody. Yeah? Okay, that's good also. Yeah? Because you have a value that everybody can wear the same clothes, yeah? Yeah. That's what you mean? Yeah. That's great. Because I love diversity forever. Okay. Till I die older. <laughs> Good luck with that, Nadia. Yeah? Thank you, Nadia. Uh, who else has not mentioned their passion? Uh, sorry, you haven't asked me. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah. sorry. Uh, Maura. Oh, yeah, Maura, Maura. I'm sorry. Yeah. Maura, please state your passion. What is, what is it? Uh, I want to make a brand that's sustainable. So, like, we use scraps of fabric instead of buy buying new ones. Okay. So then, uh, you know, more, what do you call it, limba from the fashion industry. Mm, that's great. I'm a with You like sustainability fashion, yeah? Yeah. Okay, that's good. And that's really needed, like, right now, yeah? Like, uh, slow fashion action, yeah? And also, like, uh, responsible fashion, yeah? Good yeah. fashion, yeah? That's good. That's good. It's really good. Luck. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, yeah. Uh, who else does not stay? That's why, yeah. Oh. Who else? Yeah, oh. blue. Okay. Uh, I think uh, that's. Uh, any questions from you before I wrap up this session? Any questions? Okay, if, not, uh, if there's no question anymore, thank you so much for this morning. Yeah, this topic. Oh, okay, Nadia. 
Um, did you watch Ghost in the Shell last year? Yes, Ghost in the Shell with Scarlett Johansson, right? Yeah, her style is uh, utilitarian chic, right? Yeah. It's really nice movie. I recommend you one movie, but I forgot that the vision is look like a bit the same with Ghost in the Shell. If Blade I, Runner. I will tell you on Wednesday or Thursday or Friday, yeah? I will, uh, that's the movie is really uh, in the future, yeah? But I bet that- Blade Runner, Blade Runner. Hmm? Blade Runner. No, uh, there's another one, yeah? It's Matrix. No, 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 I think like, it's sort of like uh, the, the designer is came from Prada or something yeah, because it's really minimalism, but it's really nice. Yeah, let me try it for you, yeah? You mean anime or not? Uh, no, it's a real movie, but the setup is really amazing, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Or let's say like Mila Jovovich in The Fifth Element, it's really nice. The Fifth Element by Mila Jovovich and also Bruce Willis is also a really great movie, yeah? The, the Fifth Element. Okay, thank you so much, everybody, for joining the class this uh, this morning. I hope you enjoy it, and see you on Wednesday or Thursday. And bye bye. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you sir. Thank you, 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 sir